All right, guys, working on the uh, 89 Corvette here. Give you a little video on how to set your timing. Uh, this would be from, uh, I believe, 84 up to maybe a 91. Or maybe a, I think, up to a 91, I believe, on these tune port motors. But anyways, guys, this is an 89 Corvette, and... Uh, what we're going to do is set the base timing on this and in order to do that guys what you want to do first uh, go ahead and get your vehicle up to temperature you know get it up to at least to where your uh, thermostat opens up you want to get that motor good and warmed up real good and then uh, you'll need one of these timing lights guys and uh, you want to hook your timing your timing connector here to your number one cylinder and this is after you get the car up to temperature and there is a tan colored wire with a black stripe should be in this location right here guys and what you have to do to set your base timing is to disconnect this uh, disconnect this uh, wire right here because this is computer controlled and you don't want that hooked up as you're doing a base setting on your timing on one of these tune port motors and uh, also guys what you want to do get you one of these right here nice wrenches right here it's shaped like this guys uh, so I'm not sure what the size of that is let me see if I can find the size on there for you. Uh, 9 sixteenths, guys. It's a 9 sixteenths. <clears throat> this type of wrench is specifically made for uh, to loosen that bolt up in there that holds your uh, holds your uh, um, oh shoot anyways this ball holds down your so you can turn turn your uh, distributor here guys it's a distributor bolt that's what I wanted to say and uh, this way you can turn your distributor to set your timing over here now I had this setting at uh, nine degrees uh, the factory recommendation from the factory these are set at six degrees six degrees before dead center so on your markings down here <clears throat> see if i can if you can see that or not that marking you right down in there guys by your harmonic harmonic balancer right there um i don't know if you can see them numbers or not but there's a zero four eight and twelve on there and uh in between the four and the eight is where you want to be on a stock uh setting which is six degrees um i mean i i have run them at nine degrees a little bit more advanced if you want uh um i mean you can do that if you're running make sure you want to run premium fuel if you're running uh, nine degrees uh but that's what I was running. I'm going to set this back at uh, 6 degrees to the factory spec. So I can hopefully run uh, 89 or 87 octane fuel in this for now. Um, like I said, I did have it setting at 9 degrees. And uh, when I had it setting at 9 degrees advance on the uh, timing, on the base timing, um, I was running... Uh, at least 91 to 93 octane in it so but uh anyways guys uh so i'll go ahead and start it up here and maybe i can give you a little bit of idea what you got to do it's not it's not too difficult to do set the timing on it. it's going to run a little bit rough on you when you have that uh wire disconnected there uh, because you got your uh, your computer controlled advanced timing 
unhook right now. We'll let that idle down. Uh, once that idles down a little bit, then we'll set the uh, timing. <coughs> you can get your timing right. It's starting to come down on the idle now. And uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, guys, but right now it looks like I'm setting it. Uh, I did move that distributor a little bit. I'm setting it about four degrees. So I'm going to set you down here a minute and try to set that up. Six degrees on there. So yeah, basically guys, all you want to do is what I did too is I took a white marker. I took a white marker there, guys. And uh, what it is, I took a white marker and marked my uh, harmonic balancer down there, so it's a lot easier to see the where it's at right there and uh, I'll go ahead and move that to six degrees guys we're setting it about I don't know if you can see that or not down there but we got her setting at six degrees above top dead center right now so that's why I wanted to set it out with six degrees like I said if you want to run uh, you can advance that a little bit I mean if you want to run nine degrees I've ran them at nine degrees before without having any issues uh, as long as I'm running a 91 or higher octane, I don't think you want to run too much less than that if you're running a 9 degree above top dead center there because you may get some uh, heavy pinging going on and you don't want to do that. So, uh, but the uh, stock setting on these guys, I ain't sure if it tells you here somewhere or not. Used to be a little tag somewhere it told you. Uh, on these somewhere I thought there was anyways uh, if you look it up in your owner's man or your uh, in a service book it'll say six degrees uh, before top dead center um, and that's where you want to run run it at if you're going to run stock setting so that's basically all there is to it guys uh, like I said make sure you disconnect this wire right down here this uh, it's a tan tan wire you got to look for that tan wire with the black stripe Disconnect that wire there to get your base setting on your uh, for your base timing and then you once you get all that done guys You'll probably throw a code You'll probably have a code on your computer and you'll have to uh, clear your code uh, And once you get all that done, you know tighten up your bolt there for your uh, distributor and then go ahead and clear your code and Then plug your wire back in guys, and then you should be good to go that will set your timing on one of these, so uh, not too difficult. You just gotta have the, uh, you know, you gotta get your timing light. You ain't got a timing light, and get. I, I, I would suggest getting one of those uh, type of wrenches right there to do your to loosen your bolt, because that's the easiest way to get in there to that bolt, because it's in there kind of where you can't get to it. So one of those wrenches right there, like I just showed you a minute ago. Uh, it's definitely worth the investment if you're going to do set your own timing there, guys. So, anyways, guys, that'll wrap this video up on uh, timing your uh, setting your timing on one of these uh, uh, tune port motors. I think uh, the Camaros, the IROX, and the Trans uh, the Trans Ams that had the uh, 305 and the 352 port. I'm not for sure on that, but I was thinking them were all set at six degrees. Even the 305s. I had a, I had a GTA Trans Am at one time, and I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, the stock setting was at six degrees. And but I had some modifications done to it, uh, 
So I ended up running uh, running nine degrees on it. But like I said, running the nine, if you run that at nine degrees, I would run 90, 91 or above octane on those because you may get some heavy pinging under some heavy acceleration uh, running that at nine nine degrees above top dead center. So, all right, guys, that wrap this video up.